This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 Lava Dragons for a Visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. This chest right here is a chest you have probably never heard about, but it does exist in the game. The chest is located at the top of the Isle of Souls in a small room, and to open it you actually need a dark key. Now how do you actually get a dark key? There is another chest on the Isle of Souls, but at the east part of it in a dungeon that is just called a normal chest, and this has a 1 in 200 chance to give a dark key. Now the loot from the dark chest is honestly pretty underwhelming, the only notable things are the dragon plate legs and the dragon plate skirts, which is extremely rare, 1 in 419 and 1 in nearly 2000 drop rates. Now on top of that, the drop rates are most likely pretty inaccurate, because according to the wiki, only 3778 chests have ever been opened in the game, as the keys are so slow to get, and the rewards are very lackluster. However, that's all we really have to calculate the drop rates, even though they might be inaccurate, so I'm going to be going in this video for the death runes. They are 1 in 20 drop rates, but getting 20 keys might sound very quick, but it definitely is not. So let's get actually into gaining the keys. Now, if you're crazy enough to actually do this, bring a lockpick. It actually increases the chance of opening the chest successfully. And if you fail the chest, there is a chance that you get teleported out of the entire dungeon. You have to run through the entire thing again just to get back to the chest. Now, during this grind, I will have a thieving counter on the top right here. Each successful pick lock of the chest is 150 thieving experience. So it might be quite a lot of thieving experience as this is probably going to take a long time. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to keep track of every single time I get teleported out, and we will see at the end of this grind how many times I had to run through this entire cave. Bro, I just got here. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention you can actually get medium clue scrolls as well. They're 1 in 100, so twice as common as the actual dark keys. When I am on these grinds, it's nice to feel fresh, and that is why this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped sent me a package to try out their products, and I can with 100% certainty say that these are the best products in the space that I've ever used. If you have been looking for great beard products, Manscaped has you covered with their brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit that is absolutely revolutionary. Now, this kit includes everything you would ever need to maintain and perfect your beard with the products such as Manscaped's own beard shampoo and beard oil to keep your facial hair healthy and fresh. It also comes with the extremely versatile and professional beard hedger that allows you to trim your beard to the exact length you want without hurting your skin. You can even use it in the shower as it's waterproof. I personally don't think I look great without at least a bit of stubble left, so this is great for me personally. Now in case this does not interest you, I know something that will. The Performance Package 4.0 that includes the classics such as the Lawnmower 4.0 made with the Ceramic Blade Skin Safe technology to trim your hair in the nether region and various products to go with it to keep you fresh. Right now by using the code ALONE20 you can get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. This is a great way to get some top quality products and support me at the same time, so make sure you use the code if this interests you. Sponsors like this allows me to do what I do, so thank you so much to Manscaped for sponsoring the video and having such amazing products. You might have already noticed, but I'm pretty much dropping everything that I get just to not have to bank as often, and the only things that I'm really keeping is the Raynar Weeds, but this chest right here is now number 200, and uh, that is the drop rate for the Dark Key, so I am now officially unlucky on the first Dark Key of the grind, and this is all the loot that we got from the chest so far, two medium clues which is exactly on the drop rate, and then 11 Raynars is basically all the money that you make. Okay, this is going to take even longer than I anticipated. Look at this. I'm over 800 chests in, and we have still not seen a single key yet. That means we are four times the drop rate, but at least we're pretty lucky on medium clues, so that's nice. I am uh, maybe starting to have some doubts about this grind and how long this is actually going to take. I have been ridiculously unlucky 
if we can actually pickpocket this or picklock this one right here, if we go to the loot tracker, that is now a thousand Island of Souls chests. And we've got zero keys. I mean, I am five times over the drop rate at this point, and we're actually dead on for the clue scrolls. We've got 10 of them. But if this luck continues, or this unluck continues, this is going to be ridiculously long of a grind. 200 medium clue scrolls on the rate that I'm going right now, which seems unlikely, but hopefully we can get a dark key soon. Oh my god! Yes! Finally! The first dark key of the grind. Oh man, I need 20 of these. This is how long it took. It took me over 1,100 picklocks and 99 teleports out. Oh, oh, already a second key. Yeah, thank you for catching up on the RNG now. That was like 30 chests or something between. A bit of a side note, but I feel like I have to show you guys this. I have found the person having the most fun in RuneScape at this current time. Look at this guy. Full dragon with uh, the ornament kit for the legs and the boots what an absolute giga chad oh my god we just found the only person in the entire game actually doing the chests besides me that is impressive all right so luckily my rng kind of replenished itself slightly we have five keys now and i had to do 1528 chests for this i should have got it on a thousand but that's how rng works if you're curious i got teleported out 143 times so to get these five keys i had to run through this entire maze 143 times and also yeah loot a lot of chests so this took a very long time probably like four or five hours even more than that maybe but we're now going to head over to the dark chest and see with these five keys if I can get lucky and get those 1 in 20 death runes. And of course, I am tracking all the experience that I got from this as well. We got 129,000 experience. So if this RNG continues and I have to go on the drop rate, all the 20 keys, I might get near a million thieving experience, which is kind of crazy. So here we are at the dark chests at the top left corner of the Isle of Souls. And if you check, it says I've opened it zero times. So let's go ahead and open it five times. Basically, every key in this case is like an hour of work just gone instantly as I open it. So let's go ahead and open it and see if we can get those death runes. If not, I will have to go back and get even more keys. So the first one is mind runes. 1.5k thieving experience as well every single time you open. That is pretty decent, actually. And I am taking damage as well from, <laughs> from the chest closing every single time. Two more keys to go. Rune, chain, body. I think, oh, I think that's rare. I think that's like one in 50 or something. So we might have been a bit unlucky there. But the last key is going to be... Oh, we got the death runes. We're actually done. Oh my god. Okay, this was a very fast grind. But thank god. That was an experience, I will have to say. So if you're going to do this yourself... Do not, because it's definitely not worth it in terms of terms of loot, thieving experience, all that good stuff. But now we have 14 medium clue scrolls to open. And by the way, if you're curious, five hours of getting the keys gave me 96k in terms of the dark chest loot. So yeah, again, the loot is definitely not worth it. Now, when it comes to my medium collection log, I have 45 out of 115 items and 137 medium clues opened. I do have the ranger boots, but we still have a lot of items that I could get. So let's just go ahead and open them and see if we can get any. The first one is nothing, 100k, 10k. Ooh, collection log, crier bell, pretty nice. I'm just going to go through these pretty quickly. Black leprechaun hat is also pretty good. Ranger boots, of course, I would not say no to. That would be an amazing drop to get. To make up some of the money that I've uh, not got from this actual dark chest grind. It's not looking great though. 3, 2... No, I thought that was a collection log item for a second. And the last one is going to be pretty mediocre. 28k. But that is actually the end of this video. I know it was a bit of a shorter one, but I really wanted to make a video on this subject because I just thought it was so interesting. The Isle of Souls chest, the dark chest really being super dead content, but actually could be decent for medium clue scrolls if you're an iron man if you're a main account just buy implings it's way better and probably on an iron man it's actually better to catch the eclectic implings but if you want some thieving experience i guess this is a decent way of getting medium clue scrolls again thank you to manscape for sponsoring the video their products are honestly great so make sure you check out the link in the description and until next time guys take care now, before we end the video, we do have a giveaway from the last video when I did barrels, a 21.1 million giveaway. So let's see who is going to be the winner of this nice giveaway. 
Connor Bailey, great video. Or saying blame Greg. Congrats to you for winning 21.1 million. And of course, here we have the trade of the 21.1 million GP to blame Greg. Congrats on the win.